All right. Uh, hello. Um, welcome to the Middle East Forum's webinar and podcast series. I'm Cliff Smith, the Washington Project Director of the Middle East Forum, and I'm very happy to be here today. And I'm excited to have a very special guest, uh, Rami Amman. Um, but briefly, let me start with a story. Um, last month, I was on my way to D um, Jordan from D.C., um, but my flight was delayed and I ended up getting stuck in Cairo for a while. Um, since I was stuck there, another friend of mine introduced me to someone who I did not know. That person ended up being Rami Amman. At the time, I had no idea what his background was. It ended up being very interesting. Uh, briefly, Rami is a Gazan who is the founder of the Gaza Youth Committee and a longtime peace advocate. Um, he'd long been a thorn in Hamas's side, but when he organized a Skype with your enemy Zoom call in 2020, um, he was out after being outed by an employee of Amni International, who, uh, to be fair, was eventually um, let go of her post. Um, he was thrown in prison for eight months. Um, and his crime was that he was charged with weakening the revolutionary spirit, quote unquote, and was jailed. It became a huge international incident, um, but I'll let Rami discuss the rest. Very welcome to have you here, Rami. Thank you. But. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Um, I'll just start with this. Uh, tell me a little bit about what the Gaza Youth Committee is and what was your goal in doing things like this um, Skype call? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for this opportunity to speak with you and uh, with the audience here. Uh, after the Israeli operation over Gaza Strip uh, on, uh, between 2008 and 2009, uh, in that time, I, I was a producer for uh, Russia Leon, the Arabic channel from Russia Today. Uh, so I was so close from what is happening on the ground. Uh, 1,400 Palestinians killed. Uh, after that operation inside myself, uh, uh, I was so upset. Uh, everything around me feeling bloody. <laughs> So mm -hmm. I said to myself, of course, that many things will change because maybe I will be the next victim. Uh, after uh, uh, the finishing of this operation, nothing happened. So inside myself, I decided uh, to, 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 to do something, to, to create a new kind of leadership, uh, starting from the people themselves, not from... Uh, their political uh, political background, you know, in, the, in, the, in in our Palestinian field, there are no independent Palestinian movement, uh, and of course, because I am one from the the majority inside Gaza that uh, looking for good leadership and uh, Palestinian reconciliation and believe that uh, Hamas or Palestinian Authority failed and, 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 and do any sustainable plan for our life. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this is the main reason to, to, to create a new kind of leadership from a new kind of generation. So I mm -hmm. started by small initiatives to speak mm -hmm. with kids, yes. To to, mm -hmm. to, to work uh, for sustainable brand to find them to find them after ten years or twenty years, like a decision makers, like a leader, a woman, uh, uh, boys, and I think that I, after years now I succeed to to to, to support some Palestinian youth to support myself. To increase uh, our relation. Now I'm speaking in front of uh, the American community. It's not easy, and mm -hmm. uh, we came from uh, just our ideas. We didn't mm -hmm. came from uh, big families or big organizations. No. So basically, you want to change things from the ground up, is what you're saying. That that I understand. Exactly. Um, and, exactly. And, and uh, yeah, and. Um, this has not been favorably um, seen by Hamas. Uh, your eight-month prison sentence was the first time you were sentenced, but it, you had been arrested before. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and also when when I start thinking about uh, how I can build something inside myself, I was realized that I will face risks, challenges, jails. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. not like for <laughs> months, but for me, I was ready to to face uh, this kind of uh, challenge because I was believed that I will face Hamas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not, so. Uh, not the uh, liberation movement. It's uh, an Islamic movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about your time in prison? Um, you know, what was it like? Uh, were you aware of all the international hubbub over you? I mean, you know, a hundred NGOs wrote about, you know, your imprisonment, more than that, a hundred and something, can't remember the exact number you had. You were in the New York Times, things like yeah, that. Yeah, Did yeah. you aware of any of this at the time? At first of all, it was, as I told you, it was a conclusion after uh, experiences with uh, uh, following by securities or prisons, <laughs> investigators. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember that my first time to attend or to go for a security office, it was in 2009 or 2010. Mm -hmm. And that time I was uh, starting to speak with my friends, with my network around uh, my area about how we can create uh, uh, a radio FM <laughs> or mm -hmm. uh, a new association. So in that time, they requested me for some questions. Uh, they want to be sure if I'm a member in Fatah or no Hamas in, in, in the past. Hamas were thinking that if anyone not Hamas he is Fatah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now Hamas not like Hamas in 2007 or 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, when I start to get a good reputation between the Palestinian youth because I start many workshops in universities, uh, the organizations. I am a member of uh, Young Men Christian Association, so I'm close also for the Christian community in Gaza. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2015 and 16, in that time, we're starting to uh, organize like a protest or demonstration against Hamas, calling for reconciliation, calling Hamas, uh, Calling Hamas also to find solutions for our crisis, electricity, and unemployment. Mm -hmm. uh, two days or three days. After that, when they started uh, to make more stresses over my activities between the Israelis and the Palestinians, mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, they arrested me for uh, 14 or 15 days. Uh, at that yeah. time, uh, uh, yeah, so, I so organized uh, like uh, bike rides between Palestinians and Israelis. Uh -huh. So, and you know, it's for nothing. They they, they just are arrested me because some Palestinians in social media, not all Palestinians, not the majority of Palestinians. If I believe that no Palestinian believe in uh, negotiation with the Israelis, of course I will not do that thing. Of course, mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I believe. 100% that the majority of the Palestinians won't now to start a negotiation with the Israelis or with the Jewish. I'm still continuing my way. Yeah, now that leads me to another question. So, they released me out after 2019, but in that time, I gained more experience in, in, in that year. So, when, yes, maybe in 2020, it was a very big time. But of course, my first days were the hardest days in my life. Mm -hmm, you are mm -hmm. talking about, uh, about you know, I, I can't describe, you know, in Arabic or in English. <laughs> but it's like the movies, you know, you are entering a very big house, a very big security, uh, covering your eyes. You are not seeing anything, just fear. Uh, many people around you pushing you just to answer some questions like uh, what kind of Shabak uh, guys you are you're talking with. Or, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not for me. Uh, I'm not that one. And after many questions, after six or seven days, most of them, these investigators in Hamas jail, starting to feel like 
<laughs> I have nothing to do with you, and it was like uh, a public opinion uh, case that the Palestinian social media dividing between some people with Rami, some people against Rami. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. there are like um, some uh, some control from the the, the, the Hamas. In general, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. Hamas so at that time, realized that this guy Rami Aman, he has a very big power. Many people around him. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a very high relations in Israel, in America, in India. We need this guy. How can you know? A lot of things mm -hmm. happened inside the jail. Uh, yeah. So. so you think my my first also my first 16 days i was inside a very big room and just sitting over a chair <laughs> 24 hours Jeez, and we all just moved for, for uh, also so, the investigators yeah or to, to to play i see that's uh sorry for your ordeal there it's really but rough thanks uh thank god you know thanks god because i'm i love sport i'm mm -hmm. taking care of my health and my body sure. well thank you very much uh, I... discussed that you just said that you know you thought that um you know the majority of palestinians you know wanted you know peaceful negotiations and um you had mentioned to me when we were in cairo and i you know looked up some of what you'd said that you know there have been a lot of demonstrations in Gaza recently against Hamas that have gotten very little coverage. Um, you've you know open you've been discussing this um, with media, but like when you were um, when you were imprisoned due to some of your friends, um, you know you were discussed a lot in the media, um, and some of these more wider movements have not been discussed. What do you think needs the world needs to learn? from you know the demonstrations that have been going on in Gaza in recent months uh, first of all the people outside Gaza should know that Gaza strip not represent Hamas Gaza strip not means Hamas Gaza strip not means people living there looking to kill Israelis or to kill Jews or to mm -hmm. launch rockets no there is a real or normal community, people, boys, girls, families, women mm -hmm. or girls covering their hair, hairs or not covering her hairs, Christians, Muslims, uh, like any other community. But mm -hmm. the international and the local media inside Gaza Strip, controlling by Hamas and by specific uh, foreign countries mm -hmm. or agencies, why? Mm -hmm. Because the people who are working in, 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 in that field represent the ideas of their mm -hmm. uh, friends. They're, they're, yes, no, I understand. Um, it's not it's not media. It's not a real media. They will not they will not let you see the, 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 the real picture. They will let mm -hmm. you see just a very little bit of uh, of this picture. They will mm -hmm. hide a lot of things, mm -hmm. but they will just mention to you few things. Describe the ideology of uh, Hamas. We don't have independent media. We just have media for uh, Mahmoud Abbas, our president, Palestinian Authority. Well, I've seen TV mm -hmm. and we have Alexa TV. What about other TVs? And we, I, I don't see in Gaza foreign journalists like the past. Do you, yeah, do you no, think there's come and see? Do you think there is more that Americans and other um, people from outside can do to get more coverage of the kinds of realities you're speaking of? Of course, yeah, of course. Uh, but the problem is, as I told you, most of the movements not uh, comes from the people, mm -hmm. comes from uh, yeah. the, the factions or the political movements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. need independent yeah. movements. We need in the 
I remember in 2018 and 2019, uh, we organized uh, an initiative called From Gaza to America, Let's Share Ramadan Together. Mm -hmm. It was an initiative talking about a Skype video calls after iftar in Gaza with a family in America. I visited Washington in 2017 uh, after an invitation from uh, the U.S. Department of the State with another 22 leader from other countries in Middle East and North Africa. Uh, this opportunity gave to me also more uh, relations with, uh, with the Americans because for me, I was looking also to build relations with the people themselves, not just mm -hmm. uh, to go and come without any kind of impact of outcome. Because as I told you, I have a vision. Uh, yes, yeah. for me, America in that time, Washington was very beautiful for any Palestinian. He arrived in America, of course, he will not think to return back to God. Because of mm -hmm. that, uh, when I returned back, <laughs> my friend told me that I'm crazy and the people, why you ca you come to Gaza? But no. So in that time, I remember that we correct many ideas about Gaza Strip and about Washington also. The well, Gaza well, think that America just support Israel, Americans uh, support uh, the killing of the Palestinians, but also it's a fake media. Mm -hmm. Let, the American me, community, like the Palestinian community, like the Israeli community, like any other community. Okay. Just people to people. Let's this kind to... of Skype meetings build also many sessions and many, uh, many, yeah, in, in that time, we created many things after those Skype video calls between mm -hmm. Americans and Palestinians mm -hmm. and made small initiatives and projects in art and sports and politics mm -hmm. yeah let me uh let's get to some audience questions we have a few already if there's any more please type them into the q a box and we will uh get to them um and uh the first question comes from uh deborah glazer she asks are there any ngos um you know non-governmental organizations that are now supporting you in your work can you realistically change the Hamas leadership? Of course. <laughs> I met you, Cliff, you know, I met you personally. So mm -hmm. for me, I'm not in a meeting, need more things to convince. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and I told you, I will not stay in Cairo forever. Mm -hmm. My mission inside Gaza, I will mm -hmm. visit Gaza again. I'm here in Cairo since two years ago for more planning and more relaxation because yeah. my last 10 years were full of stresses and the pressures. Uh -huh. A little bit from uh, the pressures over me in that time, some of from Hamas leaders asked me to, to, to make or to organize some meetings with the Americans and Israelis hmm. and some members in Hamas. So, uh, also to, 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 to promote the, the, that Hamas, it's not like the ice, that uh, we can build the relations like PA. But my answer was, you can do it by yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are a big movement. So what is the... For what is, me, is, there, is there a name of an NGO that people can look at that you're working with now, or is that not happening yet? You know, most of the NGOs... Uh, they were happy that there is a guy calling for peace in Gaza. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't say that there is a sustainable NGO support. No, no, me, but you know, is, there, is there one people? The, the only fun. Is there one that people should go to to help you? I guess I think is what they're asking. I would not ask for the, for that help. You know, uh, already I I, I visited. UNESCO, UNICEF, uh, Seats of Peace, uh, offices in Gaza, or uh, I wrote to them uh, through email or their profiles in Facebook from 2010. Mm -hmm. When I started to find Israeli uh, partners or to yeah. find American partners, because it was hard in the beginning uh, to, to, to let the Israeli believe that there is uh, people inside Gaza believe in peace after Hamas control. I'm talking about 2010 or 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to, 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 to United Nations offices inside Gaza also. 
I visited uh, in 2015 or 16 Miladino office, mm -hmm. the peace messenger for uh, the, the special messenger for uh, peace process in, in, in Palestine and Israel. Mm -hmm. All of them have nothing. <laughs> all of them, all of them have nothing. Mm. So, um, how many, I was how asking, you... you know, I was asking them, I was, you know, I was asking them if there is in, if there is any program include Israelis and Palestinians, and I'm ready with many Palestinians to come or to attend. They said, mm -hmm. no, we have nothing. And it's not a good time to make this kind of project under Hamas control. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I told them, so when we will make peace inside Gaza, you should make peace in Gaza, not in Germany, not in Switzerland. So that leads but, me to my. Uh, but, they have their salaries. Everything is good. Yeah, that would that leads me to my next. They are question. not suffering from anything. Yeah. That leads me to my next question from Daniel Pipes. Uh, can you estimate how many Gazans are ready to accept Israel and make peace with Israel? Uh, all of Gazans. Just to check the number of Gazans who uh, who apply for the Israeli permits. Mm -hmm. To work in Israel, mm -hmm. just collect how many Palestinian patients getting their treatments inside Israel. Mm -hmm. Just check the numbers of the Palestinian businessmen inside Gaza Strip who are daily in contact with Israelis to import and export the products. They will find mm -hmm. thousands of Palestinians. Mm -hmm. I'm talking here about numbers, not mm -hmm. just. Uh, I'm not talking. It's media also. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. if I'm American or I'm Israeli, and every time and every morning I'm waking up in front of Hamas, Haniya, Sinwar, news, and no mm -hmm. other news about anything else. Mm -hmm. I see. Or Abu Mazen, you know, what you will get from this media, and also the Palestinian media promote that that inside mm -hmm. Gaza we are Hamas and we are Fatah. If Gaza Hamas, why they are not uh, organized any kind of election? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Hamas knows 100% if any election will happen inside Gaza, no Gazan will vote to Hamas. Hamas just re will receive the, the, the votes from their members. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that most of their members not support Hamas. <laughs> yeah. Um, on that, do you think, it, can you speak a little bit, this is another question we have, um, modify a little bit, but the external influences in Gaza, you know, um, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, you know, what other outside actors are supporting um, bad political movements? Are there any supporting good political movements from your view? Yeah, okay. So, as I told you, Hamas controls the media who's coming, who's uh, going, who is promoting it from Gaza Strip. Mm -hmm. And from this media, uh, they need it from the Arab countries or the Arab citizens to understand that message also that people inside Hamas, inside Gaza support Hamas. Uh, mm -hmm. If we are talk, if we are, if we need to talk about a specific, a specific countries like Qatar. Qatar, Qatar playing mm -hmm. a role, playing something in 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 in, uh, in the Middle East. Cause of that, mm -hmm. it's very clear that Qatar uh, any, using Hamas by hosting mm -hmm. the leadership, by supporting them like uh, they are the leaders of Gaza, by recognize them, uh, 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 recognize them as the leaders of Gaza, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Qatar looking at Hamas like Abu Mazen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they are support two leaders for uh, Palestine. So I think they are, first of all, support the division between West Bank and Gaza. In the media, they are talking about Palestinian reconciliation, talking about peace, but no. Qatar not uh, doing anything to make uh, reconciliation between the Palestinians. Uh, also, every month is Qatar sent millions, hundred millions of dollars to Gaza for mm -hmm. poor, for people, but they were nothing to build one factory 
Uh, mm-hmm. Let the Palestinians inside the, or teach them to to be like uh, uh, people makes money. No, they are saving our poverty. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Qatar paid hundred millions of dollars for fuel uh, for electricity, but Ham- yeah. uh, Qatar will not build any electrical station or something solve the problem understood well look we're out of time i'm sorry the technical difficulties made this a little bit shorter than we would have liked but rami i really appreciate you talking to us i'm sorry i'm sorry for that i'm sorry for that it's not your fault my friend we'll talk later thank you very much and thanks to the audience and i hope you come back for more next week